Lots him into a starting quarterback. Well, he has been nearly perfect. On first down, little misdirection and lobs over the middle for a first down on the throw. And a Running back, one of the best in the country, averaging nearly six yards a carry. Held below his average on his first. Kentucky playing without their starting middle linebacker, Jamin Davis, as Cole pointed out earlier. Here's a toss to Devontae Smith. It'll count as a pass, and it'll count as a block on the edge of the line of scrimmage here on the right side of your screen. Bam. Watch Najee Harris come back, peel back. He's able to get that guy in that. Already first and goal for the Tide. Here's Harris. Bowling is one. Last couple plays, they're moving him around a lot without Jalen Waddle on the field. Harris again, hit at the line of scrimmage. Bama answers with beef. Kendall Randolph in a tight end next to Forrestal and Harris. Today. Najee Harris joins Mac Jones. Jones looking for Harris out of the backfield, and nobody is there. And Alabama first down and more. And he's Eckler and Mike linebacker. This running back position is going to be a focal point for Alabama, right? You got the experience out of there. That's how a running back gets lost on the end. Look at Najee Harris. We'll give it to him again. Harris slips one guy, and one of the best in the country at a Harris. Because everything runs through him. The play action runs through him. If we can slow that down, we can hopefully limit those shot plays off play action. They're down 10. Mac Jones on a crossing route. He failed to get points on the board, but Alabama will have great field position. Mac Jones wants to throw on first down. He finds Slate Bolden. It was a loss of 36 yards of field position on the failed snap. Jones to the sideline, on time for an Alabama first. Jones has started this game three for four for 74 yards. Play action again, double move over the middle. And it's in and no! With the flag. Fraction half the distance. Now you're gonna see 92 come off right there. Yep. In most offensive passing stats. He's got Bolden on the flat. He's gonna turn, look for the wheel. That's covered up. And tries to go back to Bolden who takes it. Fantastic offensive line. Paving the way. Jones in second and six. Great coverage by Kentucky. He's got nowhere to go. Try to thread the needle. And this game seven of eight through the air for 118 yards and a touchdown. And he will hand it off to Najee Harris. Separates them from a lot of other groups. Dickerson the center, 6'8", 325. Jones completes another one. This to Devontae. Brings that attitude and that demeanor. Nick Saban has been, said he's been welcomed for this football team. From Hickory, North Carolina, started his career at Florida State. Jones going deep when man coming at sevens throughout the summers, one on one through camps. He's no stranger to what Smith can do. Here's Najee Harris. That time they got washed out, lost contain. How about this line? Off balance to the left with only one right guard. Harris hurdles, flag on the play to the 20, and a little bit of a stiff arm to the Harris. And it was the tempo, right? A great job by Sark to call tempo. And look at look at the defensive line for Kentucky. There's a huge hole right there. They're not aligned the way they should be because of the tempo. They tried to substitute. They were out of position, and you can't be out of position. Chipper Jones on first and 10. Mac Jones flips it out. Here's Harris. Beautiful move by Najee Harris. Perhaps the best running back in college football. Empty backfield on second and two. Over the middle for the first down to Bolton. And I know it seems like so long ago that he got hurt, but he got hurt at Tennessee. Then they had one game where they planned without him. Slade Bolden's a guy that's going to continue to develop the more they design plays to get him the ball. Jones trying to stay on 10, remaining and rolling. Looking to the right side, back to the left. Jones now over the middle. Ball up in the air and in. Split the hands. But that's one that you'd expect Smith to hold on to. On second and 10, back to Smith. He stays in bound three at the beginning of the second quarter. And now Alabama looking to further their advantage. Wide open to the top right here. And watch Mechie. He's going to act like he's blocking, and then he's going to release up the field. Fake a screen to Devontae Smith, and look, takes two guys, and Mechie sneaks. Mac Jones, 200 yards through the air in the first half. Najee Harris, two touchdowns. He gets hit in the backfield by Boogie Watson on the first. The gap. Nick Saban talking to Cole a half was not happy with his team's play in the first half. Harris makes the first man. 
We don't ride buses in pro football. Mac Jones, the out route, open again. His patients are now elite to complement his physical school, uh, skill set. On play action, Jones deep shot. It is in. There's nothing more dangerous than the play action, and when you got Devonte Smith out there, just look at how Pass smooth he runs this route. Defense number 29, 15-yard penalty from the previous spot. Get to the course of the season. Play action again. Jones going deep again. Right back to him, and it's intercepted by Kelvin Joseph. You know the vibe. He takes a pass to 20. And Jones. On a deep ball I've seen out of Mac Jones, and this is great positioning by Kelvin Joseph. You talk about being in phase. In phase, hip to hip, then you find the ball. You lean and locate. That's a great job of leaning. Laid a nickname on Mac Jones that has a 10. On McEnroe early in his Alabama career was Mac Jones' nickname from Nick Saban. Good thing there aren't umpires in chairs here over the middle. Get the guys lined up, and so it's amazing to look at his progression and development over the years. You know, as a quarterback. Now it's Devontae Smith. Waddle got his cast off this week. There's talk that he might be able to get back before the season is over. Brian Robinson, the Tuscaloosa native. Up and down and puts it right where he needs to. He has set a school record with four passes of 85 yards or more. Mason's doing at Vanderbilt this year. They were... Hit hard with opt-outs before the season even started. They've had to deal with COVID, maybe more so. 49 scholarship players. They only have one scholarship quarterback available. Jones in zone. Second and 10, Robinson. Straight ahead. And Robin Dickerson in that interior offensive line. Look at the push. Look at Dickerson climb to the next level. He picked up two guys on that play and opened up a big hole for Brian. <laughs> he said, that's his hobby, though. 2013 F-250. Loves working on that truck. Mac Jones rolls. And he's able to find Devontae Smith. And they're going to go right behind him here. Watch this. Three tight ends in the game. Good push by Kentucky. Doesn't matter. National championship game in 2019. Last time that didn't happen. That was... Calendar year 19, over the top, down the sideline, caught. Pulled off the bench, he's throwing a couple balls on the sideline. Said, yeah, let's just, let's Personal just foul. The throw passer. this one deep down Defense for the 30, accuracy. 13. Jeez. The 15-yard penalty will be out of the end of the run. That is a perfect down. ball. On well, Brandon Eccles, who is Kentucky's best one-on-one -on -one cup. For Bryce Young for 36 yards. Najee Harris. Has room. Then he spins inside the 20, still on his feet behind the umpire. Well, that gator up a little bit higher, maybe. <laughs> he's trying to hide right now. Back to the ground game, and Najee Harris. Robinson cuts back. Take rescheduled. Well, Alabama did everything right, and yet they're punished with having to reschedule that game. You know. The games can be played. Florida State Clemson canceled last minute this morning, or at least postponed. Going. You get you get a lot of you get a lot of talk back from the quarterbacks usually. Third and goal. Bryce Young eludes one, throws on the left. He's the ability to get outside the pocket and throw off platform. Look what Young does here. It's a great move to get outside the pocket and then watch the arm angle moving away. He fits that. What the committee does with the rankings release show. Coming up on Tuesday night with the likes of Cincinnati. 18th, which, as we know, is championship Saturday. I know there's another team that's currently undefeated that plays NC State that they could schedule. You want to get games, and that's why you've opened up the window to play non-conference? I think you just politely dec decline. Fair point. I, I don't know anybody would have thought that that would have been said in a year besides 1984. Here's Jace McClellan with the big gain and a first down run taken by. Right. I mean, you have the built-in excuse of COVID and not be able to evaluate teams with non-conferences and not everybody playing. You take an A&M or Florida. Oh, if we're picking today, I'm taking Florida. And, and again, that's the quad clipboard gets a day off. Roydell Williams game. Right, wears his helmet to bed. Here's Roydell Williams on the left side. Williams. All the things that go into making a winning team that don't necessarily involve the X's and O's. He does unbelievably through. I'm telling her to get me something. I'm starving. Chili cheese burrito to go. 
Mm. Back to act. Interesting conversation with Saban yesterday, and we're talking about coaching staffs and personnel. He brought up the fact that they have options he uses in that way. Remember, Steve Sarkeesian had one of those when Lane Kiffin was the OC. Run deep on the left side for McClellan. In the playbook, right? Saban doesn't want to do that. What we do is what we do. Yes, he's open to making adaptations, and he's done that better. Coordinator. And he talked to us about his development as a coach. Important at times. And, and Steve's had his ups and downs on and off the field in his coaching career. But, you know, he said humility was something I have really had to learn. It's a head coach. And you don't have to take second-tier jobs, even if they are power profession, but the guys that come and work for him. I think Nick Saban. Even if they were no longer a fit on his staff. I could take you to a, a linebacker. A couple of safeties. Another linebacker in Jackson. Here's McClellan.